You see, we are here not to play some children's games. It's just, after the disappointment of the potato cannons, we decided to move on to more serious things. And we've been thinking long, what would be more interesting to shoot with? So we came to the conclusion that billiard balls would be really fun, right? Yes. This is the story so far. This, of course, is not serious, yes? And it will die in its turn. Now we will prepare a small, modest air cannon that shoots real billiard balls. And we'll check what a billiard ball can do if it is given enough acceleration. We will measure the acceleration, right? Yes. I think we'll measure the destruction. Good, okay. So, as you can see, this is more of a cannon. It was built by Ilya, our FX director. And so probably you should explain how it works in a word or so, go ahead. It's an ordinary air gun. It's ordinary because for shooting it, it uses compressed air. You see, Sonia, we have a trunk. The trunk is not simple. It's not an ordinary water pipe. It's seamless. And the cylinder is hydraulic. Yes, we have a receiver right there at Sasha's side. Look how these balloons are assembled. High pressure balloons, yes. We blow high pressure in through this hose via the one inch section. Fast, and besides fast, how big? Let's give it a try. I don't even know how to cover up. Sasha, okay, you're in charge. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> Looks like we've made a hole. So, we've managed to break two balls at once, a cue ball and the other one which was hit. But, moreover, we broke the table. But, Ilya, this is already, and not with our ball, yes, not the one we shot with, but this is just a children's table. It is very fragile. And what do you think? Is it possible to accelerate the billiard ball to such a speed that it punched through a real granite table? You know, the question is about the strength of the ball how strong it is, or the quality of the granite, right. That's also true. And the speed of approach, dead right. Well, we'll try, why not? Maybe let's do an experiment. Go for it. Just for reference, previously we shot at less than 100 atmospheres at 80. Yes, here I think it is necessary to pump up more and prepare, well, and a pool table. By the way, I wanted to get one myself long ago. Well, unfortunately, we have a simplified version of it. Uh, I don't want this version. It's made of real granite. Here is a fragment of the pool table that we have. This is a granite slab of six centimeters. Oh, it's quite solid, yes? Yes. A decent pool table must be made at least four centimeters thick. And if it's six centimeters, that's perfect. You mean this is normal? That it's, it's, this is for real. That's the way it should be. Only there are no sides. Well, how do you think? Is the eight going to make it? Look, I don't know. It sounds like a steel sheet. In fact, you hear, right? All right, let's try. The pressure's a bit higher, isn't it? Yes. Now we have pumped up probably 120. We'll see what we'll have. What? Let's go. Any doubts? We'll see. The main thing for you is to hit. Oh. 
You've made yourself a mark, no? The mark? Yes, something like this. Okay, good. I'm ready. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> Did you see? Our car almost moved off. <laughs> Look, a really good hit. You did an amazing job. Well, that is absolutely unequaled. Pool tables are made out of good material, and the ball is out of a bad one. Well, look, it's not some ball made of bone. I think the bone one would have shattered the same way, maybe even better. Maybe yes. In a movie, when you hide behind an overturned table, it should be a pool table. Look, the idea is good, and maybe we'll try it. Can we break it with a bullet? Come on. We have one? Well, of course. <laughs> 